and I'm looking at you? Yes, yes. Okay. all the time. All the time I'm looking at you. Yes, it helps, it does help when you look at me. Now. My formal background in art came from studying at California Institute of the Arts in Valencia, California. I studied studio art and fine art. The inspiration usually grows from nature, or fashion, or just whatever I feel is, is beautiful and I want to kind of bring out more of it. From when I was in elementary school, as soon as I could draw, I was drawing dresses. I was drawing clothes. The teacher would say, Sarah, put down your pen, like, I'm teaching. I didn't put down my pen. I continued drawing, and I was drawing the teacher. I was drawing my friends, what I thought was beautiful around me. It always stemmed from fashion. It maybe you wore something that would make you feel really beautiful. I want to draw that. I think part of my process as an artist is giving myself access to materials. I step it up to the next level. You really have to take time and learn how to use the tool. And from there, it's like a prize. Um, you earn it. Fendi called me directly. I was in my studio working. I fell to my knees because it was really a dream come true. It felt like, you know, to be seen on that level. And the truth is, I don't know how, how it all happened. Planting seeds, that's how it happened. Take yourself out of your comfort zone. Put yourself in a space where other people can appreciate your work. You have to be forgiving to yourself. You have to drop all expectations about what you want your art to be. Experiment every day. Commit, you have to commit to it. It's a practice art. It's, it's like playing baseball. It's like going to the gym. Through teaching, you really are able to bring forth everything that you're passionate about and show other people. Through teaching, I really learned to access the most enthusiastic part of my brain. And I've truly come from a place where I, I love to inspire others. It comes down to lines. The simple lines. Like, there's a really simple way to do this. Take a piece of tracing paper, lay it on top, pencil, pen, illustration marker, and give yourself one minute to pull out the best lines. From there, add color. Gaining perspective is super important when it comes to creating an illustration. Step away 10 steps, put it up on the wall and look at it. Mess up, make mistakes, make a huge mess. Not everything is gonna be perfect the way you want it to be and that's what makes it you. That's what makes it yours. That's what makes it unique. My name is Sarah Kaplan, and I am a Miami illustrator born and raised in Miami, Florida.